Hi there, this is Anmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today I'm going to show you a very interesting technique to combine curves with gradients to create amazing filters for your images in Photoshop. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo, check the links in the description. Before we begin, I gotta say that this technique works best with images with two or more portions of light. Now what do we mean by that? Have a look at this image. There is light coming in from the left and there's also light coming in from the right. So you can have two or more portions of light. However, I would highly implore you and request you to try it with any image that you like. The more you play with Photoshop, the more accidental amazing moments will happen. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is to create a curves adjustment layer. How do we do that? Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. As easy as that, very easy. Now let's stick it in here so that you can see me. All right, now let's add some red magenta-ish tint to the left. How to do that? Well, let's go to reds and let's play with the curves, dance with the curves, do anything that you like. Let's go to the reds and increase the reds in the highlights. And what do these mean? How do we increase the reds in the highlights? When you look at the curves, the right hand side represents the bright pixels, the left hand side represents the dark pixels. And that's all you need to know for now. So if you want to increase the reds in the bright areas, just pick a point on the bright area on the right hand side and drag it up. Drag it up to increase the value, drag it down to decrease the value. If you want to take away the reds from the dark areas, where are the dark areas on the left hand side? So pick a point on the left hand side and drag it down. So that's how this works. On the left hand side, we have the darks. On the right hand side, we have the brights. Let's reset that. Click on this button to reset it. Okay, now let's do it slowly. Red, let's increase the reds. Just like this, it really looks good. Let's go to the greens. Maybe we want a little bit of magenta in the highlights. Now, green is the opposite of magenta, right? RGB opposite of CMY, red opposite of cyan, green opposite of magenta, and blue opposite of yellow. All right, so let's decrease the greens in the highlights and add some magenta tint. Wow, this looks like something. Now let's make the greens normal in the dark areas and probably we increase the reds too much. So let's decrease it a bit. Okay, let's come to blues. In blues, what do you want to do in the highlights? Probably you want to increase the blues in the highlights. Maybe you want to do that. I don't know. Just play with it the way you like it. Let's decrease the blue. We want some yellows. Let's decrease it just a little bit, just like that. And let's go back to the reds and increase the reds. And probably, probably let's come to the blues and let's decrease the blues from the middle. Let's try different varieties. Okay, that looks wonderful. Now here's what to do. You can always change this later, by the way. Make sure the mask is selected. Select the gradient, okay? Select the gradient and then Draw a gradient from left to right. Make sure the gradient is white to black and from left to right just like this. What happens is that the curves is applied from the left and as you go to the right, the effect diminishes. Because if you have a look at the mask, so let's have a look at the mask by holding the Alt or Option and click on the mask. How does the mask look? It goes from white to black as we did with the gradient. So what is the concept of mask? White are the areas which show up, black are the areas which do not show up. So these black areas, the curves adjustment layer will not be visible, okay? So let's hold the Alt or Option, click on it again to come back to the image. Now let's create one more curves adjustment layer and here's where the fun begins. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves again. Now this time, before you do anything, here's what I would suggest. Hold the Alt or Option, Click on the previous Curves Adjustment layer, click and drag and drop the same mask on the new Curves Adjustment layer. Replace layer mask? Yes. All right. Now, you might ask, why do you want the same mask for another Curves Adjustment layer? We don't want the same mask. We want to apply the effect to the rest of the image. So, we will select the mask and then invert it. Press Ctrl or Command I. Have a look. Now, whatever we do inside of Curves affects the other areas. Isn't that wonderful? Now let's work on the colors and then we will work on the RGB if you want to. All right, in this one, let's take down the reds. Let's try to do just the opposite and maybe increase the reds in the shadows. Maybe something like this. Wow, that is wonderful. That's interesting. Let's go to the greens and let's increase the greens a little bit and decrease it on the shadows. Or maybe let's keep it that way and just play with it. Let's go to blues 
and increase the blues in the shadows like that and decrease the blues or increase the yellows in the highlights. That is wonderful as well. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Now let's play with the greens. Let's try decreasing it, increasing it, whatever looks good to us. Increasing it, does it look good? No. Decreasing it? Yes, a little bit. Maybe in the highlights? Or maybe in the shadows. Just play with it. Wow. Now we did that experiment and accidentally we found out our wow moment. So I would highly recommend that you just dance with these curves, all right? Maybe you'll find something even 100 times better than this. Okay. That is wonderful. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's have a look at the before and after, then we'll go to the fun part. So this is the before, this is the after. Just have a look at the filter, how interesting that is. You can always go back, by the way. So if you want to go back to this one, and maybe you want to increase the reds, so I'll go back to the reds and I'll increase the reds, okay? Maybe you want to increase the yellows or decrease the yellows. That's totally upon you. Maybe you want to decrease the yellows. Maybe you want to increase the magenta. So we'll go and we'll increase or decrease the magenta, depending upon the thing that you're looking for. Now. Here comes the fun part. Make a copy of this one. If you want to, press Ctrl or Command J. Look at the kind of effect it does. It goes really intense. So here's what I would do. I would put it all the way to the top, okay? And then again, go to the gradient and make a smaller gradient like this. Probably something like this. And work on the intensity. I'll just open that up again and decrease the reds. It's too much, okay? And probably I will increase the yellows like this okay and decrease the opacity something like this and make a copy of this one press ctrl or command j and put it on the top and select the gradient again and we want to apply it just to the rightmost side like this have a look at this it's too much blue so we'll go to the blues and we will decrease it from the dark areas like this and we'll go to the reds we'll decrease it a little bit like that and you can work your way through it let's have a look at the before and after it really does look amazing so this is the before and this is the after isn't that wonderful so that's how you can very easily combine curves and gradients to create really nice filters for your images the idea here is very simple three things curves masks and gradients that's it just as a recap create a curves adjustment layer Apply any stylization that you like and apply it just to a particular area in the form of a gradient. By clicking on the mask with the gradient tool, create a gradient from black to white or white to black and then create a reverse of it. So create a new curves adjustment layer, copy the mask to that and then invert it, apply it. And you can create as many curves adjustment layers as you like. So, and I would highly recommend you that you watch this video. This goes more in depth into applying curves with masks. So watch that. Really nice one. And that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching. And I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.